Okay, starting off turn number nine with Arjun. And the first thing we want to do is remember, finally, that we have this ability, so we're going to use it to regain two hit points. And I really wish we had done that last turn and then flipped it over and use it again this turn because we need those hit points. So Arjun did not use a healing surge. In fact, we don't have any left, so... He is adjacent to this zombie, so he is able to attack it, so maybe we'll do that. But really, the zombie doesn't matter, other than the fact that it's going to be a pest. But the heroes, we have to defeat Clack, and so we have to, to, to win the game, we need to beat Clack and the artifact. The other monsters don't matter. However, they will continue hitting us, so... Since we're currently standing next to the uh, zombie, maybe we should try to take it down. So let's see. The artifact has five hit points. Clack has six. We need to get rid of both of those. And really, we need to get rid of Clack first. Because the artifact is just going to sit there doing nothing, basically. Like, it's not going to attack us, but Clack will. So Clack, we need to get rid of him. But let's uh, let's start by trying to get rid of this zombie, I suppose. So we're gonna use uh, he's gonna use Tide of Iron on that zombie. So that's just gonna be a plus eight. So he just needs to roll a three or higher. And oh, a nat twenty. Um, so that means we could. Uh... Okay, so first of all, the zombie goes down. So we can level up, and we may actually do that. Uh, leveling up in this game is not super useful, but in this case it might be because we'll gain some hit points when we level up, and we get the zombie card. <clears throat> so let's make some notes here. So uh, we attacked, we'll get a treasure, so let's do that. Um, not sure if it matters if you level up and then get the treasure, or get the treasure and then level up. Breath of Life, your hero regains one hit point. Uh, play immediately, so yeah, we'll take that. So we're up to four. So here's the thing, if we choose to level up, we'll, we get to flip the card over. Our armor class goes up to 18. We get two more hit points so we don't unfortunately we don't unfortunately get to raise our hp all the way to 12 but we get the difference so going from uh, level one to level two gives us a hp max of 12 so we would gain two more hit points that would take us up to six and that's pretty nice however we would be spending uh the only set of five experience we have because all we have over here is four. And a lot of times, to be honest, leveling up just isn't worth it. But I think in this case, it might be. So when you level up, increase your hit points by two, your AC by one, and your surge value by one, and you get to choose an additional fighter daily power. So we also get to come over here to our, uh, our shuffled and choose a daily power, um, and there aren't any. Well, I guess there's one. There's, no, there's two daily powers, so we can pick between these two. So let's go ahead and do this, because I think in this case it's worth it. So we'll spend the five experience. So two, four, five. So we'll discard. We want that extra two HP for sure, so that's gonna take us up to six. So, he's going to have your surge value by one and choose an additional daily power. So let's, it's kind of an awkward one in this particular game because, you know, these are all already shuffled, but, so I guess we just pick out of our shuffled pile. <clears throat> so attack one adjacent monster, four damage, that's probably the one we're going to take. Choose a tile within one tile of you, place each monster on that tile adjacent to your hero and then attack. Let's pick this one. If we can do four damage in one hit, 
And if we miss, we don't flip it over so we can try every turn. Let's take that one. And then we're just going to put these back in our shuffle stack. Arjun hasn't really been using these anyway. Okay, so... Let's see, so we attacked, we killed, we got the treasure. <clears throat> so the only thing we can do now is move, and we don't want to really explore anymore, because we don't want to pull additional monsters out. So let me read Clack's tactics, because I want to try to keep him under control. So if he is on his tile with an unexplored edge, we know what he's going to do. He's going to... He's going to uh, we're going to draw a new tile, potentially get another encounter, but always get another monster. So, so currently he's not on an unexplored edge. So the next time he goes, which is going to be here in a moment, if Clack is on a tile with the hero, so what I'm thinking I might be able to do is to move my use my move action to move up to get onto this tile. <coughs> Let's see what happens if I were to do that. He would attack, so he would just use this attack, and he would get a plus eight on that attack, and if he hits me, he pushes me away by one tile. And place the hero one tile away, okay. So maybe it wouldn't do me any good to move up to Clack's tile. If Clack is on a tile with a monster, activate that monster. So, <clears throat> so if I don't move up to the tile, then he would. Then this would. This rat would essentially go twice. <clears throat> now, if none of that's the case, Clack teleports, place him on the closest tile with an unexplored edge. Right now, I really have to think about what the best thing to do is, because if I move up, if I move Arjun up and I get onto the tile with Clack, Clack is going to attack me, and if he hits, I take one damage and he pushes me off the, uh, off the tile. Okay, I see. So I think I'm better off, I think I am better off moving up to that tile. Because, I mean, we have to kill him, so we're going we're gonna to have to get to him. So Arjun's going to move. He, uh, one, two, three, four. So he's going to get adjacent to the rats. So technically he's adjacent to the rats and Clack's artifact. So Arjun moved. Now he's not exploring. So no new tile, no new monster, but we have a forced encounter. And this is one thing in this game that really makes it super hard. When you get to this end condition, you have to keep exploring or you take a forced encounter. I really wish that when you got to this end condition, it was like, okay, you're here, you're at the final boss, no more, encounter, no more forced encounters for not exploring. That's what makes it really hard. So that zombie's gone. So, um, so first of all, the encounter <clears throat> that we cannot cancel. Green, uh, green slime. <clears throat> Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. <sighs> Man, it does damage either way. If the active hero is hit by the attack, the active hero discards one treasure card at random. I don't have any treasure cards. And luckily, there's no consequence for not having a treasure card. Sometimes it'll say, if you don't have a treasure, take another damage. All right, so let's hope it misses. Four, so I think that's a miss. Yeah, four plus six is a ten, so that clearly misses our AC, especially now that it's buffed. But we still take a damage, which is a real... So that puts us down to five. Green slime goes away. And now Clack activates. Um, let me actually put Clack here as well, just so I remember that it's for both of us. 
so it's not on unexplored edge um, so we go to the next one if it's on a tile it is so he attacks me with that plus eight so real, let's really hope he misses <clears throat> eight that's gonna be a miss eight plus eight is 16 and that's gonna miss our armor class and luckily there's no there's no damage for uh, or there's no consequence, you know, for a miss, and that's the way it should be. All right, so that's the end of um, Arjun's villain phase. So now Alyssa gets to go. Okay, so we really need to bust out our superpowers now. So let's see what Alyssa can do. Let's really examine this. So attack one adjacent monster. Attack one monster. Now, do the villains count? I think they must. I was going to say, do they? does that qualify as a monster? Attack one monster within two tiles of you. If you miss, and the monster is more... Okay, so we have bounding attack. Place your hero on a tile within one tile of you. Attack one adjacent monster. Ooh, three damage. So place your hero on a tile within one tile of you. Attack one adjacent monster. So... Clax artifact. So it just has to be on here somewhere. I don't quite know what the rules are for these things. I think this is just... <clears throat> this just sits on here somewhere. But I think we can stand on it as long as that square underneath is valid. But I'll just kind of put it over here in the corner. So what I could potentially do would be to use the bounding attack to essentially just teleport myself, I guess, over next adjacent to clack and then attack with the bounding attack. <clears throat> Is there anything else I can do that will be better than that? Choose a tile within two tiles of you. Attack two monsters on that tile. If you miss... And that monster is more than one tile away from you. Place it one tile. We don't necessarily want to do that because then that will put Clack on an unexplored edge. So let's let's go with her daily power bounding attack. And let's also put her unbalancing parry up here on the board so that we're forced to see it. Because this lets her take a miss. So place your hero on a tile within one tile of you. And I can just place her wherever I want. So um, that doesn't really matter because I could just move her there. But we'll place her adjacent to Clack. And now we'll have her attack Clack. <clears throat> Hopefully she hits because that'll do three damage. And Clack has six HP. So that would, you know, cut him in half. That's what we're going to do. So let's hope this is a hit. Let's get a really high roll. <laughs> of course. Basically wasted. But it is one damage. But basically wasted of the attack, but you know, you can't know. So she attacked, technically she hasn't moved. Um, no treasure, but she's already used her attack. So, unless she has one of these ones that lets her attack without it being called an attack. I don't think she does. No. Alright, so, so she's not going to move. Now I really wish I had had her just ping those rats, but yeah, again, you don't know. So she's not exploring. We're never going to explore again at this point. So we're just going to have all kinds of forced encounters. So forced encounter. And this is what's going to make it really hard to win this game. Not even so much taking out clack, but just all these forced encounters. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. That's going to be both of us. It's going to slow us down if it hits. It's no big deal. 
So Alyssa first. 11 plus 8, that's going to slow her down. So let's put that there. Now, now Arjun. <clears throat> and that's going to miss Arjun, so he's not slowed. All right, so that's the... That's the uh, that's the encounter. So Alyssa is slowed, and now Clack activates. So if he is on a tile with a hero, he attacks each hero. All right, so he's going to attack Alyssa first. This is going to be really hard to win. So Alyssa. 8 plus 4 is 12, so that's going to be a miss. And there's no consequence for a miss. And then Arjun, 9 plus 8, I think that just misses. Yeah, 9 plus 8, that's 17. And since we leveled him up, that comes in handy. So that's a miss. And there's no consequence for a miss. So, yay. But now the rats activate. So we may want to get them out of here because they might just chisel us down but again they if they <clears throat> as long as they miss they don't do anything but if the rat swarm oh man it gets to attack everybody Ugh. okay so it's gonna attack Alyssa first yeah we're gonna, probably gonna need to get rid of these rats uh, 18 that's gonna be a hit Arjun 6 plus 7 is 13 it misses Arjun so Alyssa takes a point from the rats, and that's going to be the end of turn number nine.